it's better than any drug. It's better than sex to ride a big wave. The feeling you get dropping down the face of a, of a 30 footer, nothing is, nothing's comparable. Waves are all about energy. The amount of energy in a wave is proportional to the square of the height of the wave. So if a wave height doubles, the amount of energy in it increases fourfold. The waves that we're all used to playing in on the beach are generated hundreds and even thousands of miles away as wind blows over the surface of the ocean. The stronger the wind blows and the longer distance over which it's in contact with the water, the bigger the wave. Out in the deep water of the open ocean where the waves are being formed, the wind doesn't actually push water forward. The friction between the wind and the water causes ripples to form, and the water actually stays in place while the ripples move. When these ripples reach shallow water, the bottom of the wave slows down and the top of the wave keeps going at its original speed. This causes the wave to topple over itself, or to break. The area where the waves break is known as the surf zone, and it's chaotic in here. The energy of these waves at Sandy's, even though they were only three feet tall, was enough to send me for a good tumble and rip the mask right off my face. Throwing tanks on our back, we ventured underneath a surf break known as China Walls to get an up-close look at waves from below. These waves were about six feet in height but the motion underwater was much more severe than that. It caused lateral swings of 15 to 20 feet every time a large wave passed overhead. As these waves broke and collided with the shoreline, they mixed with air and these huge enveloping clouds were shot down at us. The challenge for us was to stay out of this whitewash, and despite trying our hardest, we were not always successful. For the elite few on the planet who can surf big waves, Waimea Bay on the north shore of Oahu is Mecca. We joined up with big wave surfer Atom to see what it's like to ride one of these waves. Right now we're at Waimea Bay, which is known for its uh, ability to hold large surf. The day we went out with Alex, the waves at Waimea were 20 feet tall. That's considered a small day at this surf break, but the power of these waves could hardly be imagined. Should be picking up as we're out there so we're gonna be careful and make sure that everybody's in the right spot there's only a few guys out so hopefully we can get some fun rides and uh and get some some aloha in order to catch a wave this big alex has to paddle with all of his strength so that the speed of his surfboard matches the speed of the passing wave as he drops in, his speed can exceed 25 miles an hour. You know, but really, anytime you enter the water, you need to know that you are not in control anymore. And uh, you're really giving your body over to the ocean and you have to be 
in tune with it and become, you know, in harmony with what's going on. Don't try to fight the ocean. It requires intense concentration and phenomenal athletic ability to maintain a line on a big wave like this. Wiping out while surfing a big wave can be catastrophic. Sometimes you're going to wipe out, you have no control over it, and you just got to go with it and relax. I think people get in trouble out there because they, they get freaked out, their heart starts to race, and that in turn makes them use more oxygen. So the key is to really relax when you get into trouble, slow your heart rate, conserve your oxygen, and eventually you're going to come to the surface. The main risk of surfing any big wave is going to be uh, drowning. You know, you want to really be prepared with your breath hold and your ability. But Waimea adds another factor because when it's good, there'll be 30 to 60 guys out sometimes. So you're not only jockeying for the wave against other surfers, you're actually sharing the wave with other surfers. Sometimes there'll be 10 guys on a single wave and you have to like really pick your line so that you don't hit the guy to your inside or your outside. So getting a wave to yourself, a big wave, a real Waimea wave is a, it's a, you know, it's a real treat because so many of the waves are rideable by more than one person. <laughs>